Operation Wallacea is a conservation research organisation. So our primary goal is to collect accurate and robust conservation research all over the world. Here in South Africa, we partner with um, a local organisation called WEI, doing conservation research and monitoring for different types of species and different types of environments. This is a big five reserve, and that's why we chose the site, is because of the big five animals that you do find here, and it's part of the Kruger, which is really, really cool. All the guides are really nice, so everything's really fun and they make it fun. And they're really also really passionate about their job, yeah. which helps um, us learn about things we didn't. wouldn't have learnt at yeah, home. Definitely. We take the students out and, and learn them a bit more about the bush. Uh, what plants can be used for what, what can be eaten, what not. How to make a fire with a stick and a, and, uh, a little plank, the old, the good old there way. There we go. Oh, nice. There we go, here we go, here we go. Um, and then we also do some tracks and signs to show these guys how, how amazing the bush is and what you can actually see. So far we've seen hippos, lions, giraffes, antelope, antelope lots of antelope, get used yeah. to them. Um, um, birds. Yeah, we've learned how to identify birds. So at the start of the week, each person got a bird. I've got the Southern red billed and yellow billed horn bill. Which makes a tick tock sound. Every time I hear it, I know that that's my bird. We go out in the morning for a couple of hours and do a bird count. I think working out in the field, you actually learn a lot more because you see things. <laughs> and I find that what we're learning in the classroom directly applies to what we're learning out here. So it's really interesting to actually see what we're learning. It just, I think it makes you understand it a lot more. The students that, that come over here, they help a lot and making the time fun while they're here as well. So that's quite cool. Yeah. The majority of our students will spend some time at a terrestrial research site and then at the end of that they'll spend a little bit of time at our marine site, either learning to dive or learning more in depth about the environments that they're diving in through a reef ecology course. Arriving they get to see what's in the textbooks and then they can use that to take out into the field and see what actually happens under the waves as well. If you haven't got your diving qualification uh, we have a fully kitted out instructor school that will enable you to uh, do the PADI open water qualification. If that doesn't suit you, you don't need to be a qualified diver to experience what's out there. We have snorkeling activities as well. Uh, you get to experience everything that the, the ocean behind me does offer. You can see all the coral species of fish, uh, potentially whales, manta rays, turtles. The learning that, that they can take away from this trip is just incredible. Going back to the classroom and then learning about this stuff in the classroom again, they're going to have these amazing stories and experiences to be able to draw from. Um, and I have no doubt they're going to be making a lot of their friends jealous at the stories that they're going to be able to tell. <laughs>